Well, 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 it's been one heck of a week for musician birthdays, starting with Chippy Hill, Bertha Chippy Hill. You know, when I saw Chippy on the list this week, I was like, oh, snap, we could do something for Chippy? <laughs> yeah. Nobody does anything for Chippy. <laughs> She's an unsung blues singer, hero, Bertha Hill born in Charleston, South Carolina in 1905. Yeah. Charleston in 1905. That's a deep time. And she was one of 16 kids. Yeah, it's a lot. She was one of the great singers of blues in the tradition of Bessie Smith and others. And I found out about Chippy because of my obsession with Louis Armstrong. And, you know, just trying to listen to everything he ever played on. And usually he played with people I already knew. If it wasn't the Hot Fives, it was Ella Fitzgerald or it was Jimmy Rogers. But when I came across his cornet intro on Pratt City Blues, I forgot about Lewis for a minute and was like, who is that singing? It was Chippy Hill. <laughs> Rachel Price, John Lapley on the trumpet as Louis Armstrong. Okay, y'all, now it's time to take it back to 1978 with the sideburns and the afros and the perms and the platform shoes and the bell bottoms and all that stuff that you thought made you look like John Travolta, <laughs> but now you regret. <laughs> but to get there, we gotta stop off in 1996. That's when I remember hearing this song on a daily basis, driving around New Orleans with my mom. She always played the R&B oldie station with the windows down, the music real loud. So I got an education on Earth, Wind and & Fire and Frankie Beverly and Maze and Zap. And this week's birthday girl, Cheryl Lynn. We discovered in rehearsal you can't do this next one with fewer than four singers. So we need Emily King and her band on the stage right now. Band. Give me the horn! Thank God. I think I love you, but you feel 
Wow. In the late 90s at Electric Ladyland Studios in New York City, the Chicago-born MC Common changed my life. <laughs> Along with Jay Dilla, Questlove, D'Angelo, Erica Badu, and others, Common helped push Neo Soul into the limelight. Yeah, they were called the Soul Quarians. And I can still remember going to Blockbuster Video in Kenner, Louisiana, right next to the movie theater, and I grabbed his album, Like Water for Chocolate. Oh, you know about that, huh? <laughs> yeah, Common is tight. I started following every musician that played on that record, including the late trumpeter Roy Hargrove. He was my prime target. I moved to New York after a couple years seeing him at jam sessions and such. He and I became friends, and he took me on tour for two years around Europe and the United States. He was one of my mentors. And it's all because of the Soul Quarians, Common, and songs like this. be something for me to write this queen i ain't seen you in a minute wrote this letter and finally decide to send it signed sealed delivered for us to grow together love has no limit let's spin it slow forever i know your heart is weathered by what studs did to you i ain't gonna solve them because i probably did it too because of you feelings i handle with care so because recognize the life but they can't handle the glare you know i ain't the type to walk around with matching shirts a relationship is effort i will match your work i want to be the one to make you happiest and hurt you the most they say the end is near it's important that we close to the most high regardless of what happened on him let's rely It's a week, man. What a week. So many great musicians on the list and so many people who influenced me and, and all of us. And this next musician, singer, band leader, entertainer, if he never sung a note, Nat King Cole would be considered one of the great jazz pianists of his era. And as a singer, man, everybody imitated him and tried to sound like him. And when they did, you know, they were imitating the OG Nat Cole trio. No drummer, no problem. <laughs> Just Wesley Prince on the bass and Oscar Moore on the guitar. Sunday would have been Nat Cole's 100th birthday. He passed in 1965, much too soon at 45 years old. But in 1991, his daughter Natalie recorded herself singing duets over her father's records, creating the nine-time platinum album. Unforgettable, that's what you are. Unforgettable, though near or far. Like
like a song of love that clings to me how the thought of you does things to me never before has someone been more unforgettable in every way And forevermore, forevermore That's how you'll stay That's how you'll stay That's why, darling It's incredible That someone so unforgettable Thinks that I'm unforgettable Happy birthday to all the great musicians this week. Yes. 